Hi there folks, Gareth here from Mobile Tech Addicts, Tracy and Matt.co.uk and for Unboxings.com and I have a little package here that I'm going to open up right away for you. This is a first unboxing, I think this might be one of the first uh, times this has been seen, this particular product. I'm quite excited about it because I don't exactly know what to expect from it. These are power cubes. The power cube twist and lock. A variety of different flavors here. Some, some bubble wrap as well. I'm going to bring along my lovely assistant here to demonstrate how these work. Okay, so this is the power cube. I'm going to go with one of these first. We'll have a look at this. I guess it goes by colour here. See if we can't work out how this opens. There we go. Okay. Red Dot Award winner of 2014. Actually, we'll have a look around the packaging because it is quite nice packaging before we pull it. Power Cube Extended USB. The so Power Cube shows this going down there and twisting. Geo USB twist and lock. Removable adhesive tape. It's got an iPad here with a 30 pin connector there. Okay, wires 230 volts, USB 5 grounded, 5 foot of cable, instructions. Two graduates of the... Yes, these people made it. Okay, mount the power cube anywhere. Unique docking system. Alright, okay, so maybe I don't need this. Right, well, we'll take it out and have a look at it anyway. Right, oh, well, it's all come out and in one go. So, this is a power cube. I think it's something like terahawks here, isn't it? Right, there's a plug. Let's just plug that in for the sake of plugging in. This uh, foregang isn't actually plugged into anything. At the moment, we have a little green or grey doohickey here, and that goes through to the plug itself. And we've got USB on this end. Three pin, three pin, three pin, three pin. That's it. Oh, there's more in the box. In the box we have the mount, adhesive stuff, more adhesive stuff. So this mount, oh, I'm going to have to look at the instructions here in this uh, rather oddly cut out piece of cardboard. Okay, manual. Twist and lock. Remove protective sheet. Stick the dock on a flat surface, also mounting it below a table as possible. Adding multiple power cubes together. Uh -huh. Right, I see. So we take this and we twist and lock. Oh, that's locked on there. Okay. So it's a it's an extension cable essentially. Then you'd attach those adhesive bit here and stick it down, or stick it to a wall or under a desk, and it gives you a power socket. It gives you three power sockets. Notice I'm saying power because I'm from Northern Ireland. We say par here. It's par cube. Right. I'm trying to work out how this. Ah, right, okay, I see. How do we pull these out? These seem to be able to come out somehow. 
because you can see here what well, it was showing in the instructions, that's where I saw it, them sticking together. And also these illustrations show that there's no actual plug feature in there. Hmm. I wonder if we use this to pull it out or something. No, we don't. Alright, well, we'll open this one here and see what is inside it too. This is an attractive red colour, obviously, because we are so fashion conscious these days. This has more plugs on it because this one has, this has USB 5 volt. This one just has lots and lots of plugs. But how do you click them together? That's what I'd like to know. These do seem to be at different angles to each other. That one's down the way, that one's to the left, that one's down the way, that one's to the right, and then the one on the top points that way. Ooh, these are quite bizarre. And then of course there's another stand for that one. But it does seem that whenever you use the stand you lose a plug socket. So, they're not exactly travel accessories, I wouldn't say. However, if you use one stand, then theoretically you should be able to link them together. However, I'm not sure how we link them together. Obviously, the whole, the brains behind this op operation is to avoid my focus having trouble again. There we go. This idea where we're unable to plug in a Sega Mega Drive uh, adapter alongside a 32X adapter and a Mega CD adapter into a 4 gang because they just don't fit. Whereas with these you get four plugs much like on this but you can plug it in all over the show and it takes a considerably less amount of space. It's quite quite clever, it's quite simplistic. I'd just like to know how to be able to connect them together. Obviously having the USB on this is, is a great addition. So yeah, they're uh, fairly handy for around the house. They're good looking, I'll give them that. They really do look so much better than that big ugly chunk there. Which would you rather have behind your TV? covered in dust. I guess that would be one of the main points of it actually, if you have it sitting like that, dust is likely to fall there, but not there, so it's not going to be terribly dusty there. But the USBs are incredibly handy, and then these ones which just have oodles of plugs on them, you know, there's, that's a five, five bar plug, and if you didn't need to fix it to anything, uh, you, you would not lose one of them. So I guess people could just have it covered in plugs. And then obviously these are positioned in such a way if you were to put a big chunky plug there then and another big chunky plug here, there one would point this way and the other would point this way although that would point that way so but that wouldn't affect the top so the, these are positioned strategically so that large plugs don't affect other large plugs very sensible. Well done. Good thinking. I'm going to give these a go. See if I can replace some of the old dozed four gangs I have around here with these new funky colored super sexy power cubes. Alright, so uh, I'll stick some links in the show notes below for you to have a look uh, if you fancy one of these. Take care now.